What to do, folks? This is Acid Roots. I kind of feel like talking about Drake. It's been a little while since I have, so we're going to mess with him some. This is his mixtape slash pseudo album, Dark Lane Demo Tapes. Now, this kind of came out in a relative gap in Drake's career between, like, uh, Scorpion, his double album, and his next project, which is supposed to be arriving this year. I'm not sure how that's going, but I would say, uh, you know, Drake is Drake, and he's going to continue to tear up the charts and deliver hit songs. But it was kind of interesting just because 2019 was somewhat quiet for Drake. I mean, Scorpion had a lot of large songs that came out, hit number one several times. Basically almost got some career highlights with, like, songs like God's Plan and... Um, like I'm, I forget what it's called. The song that he did with City Girls, "In My Feelings," those type songs. So he was pretty large throughout the summer of 2018. But then, you know, and and for a double album, it did have some large promotion. I'm gonna have to really mess with that and see how he did with it. But so he put out the care package last year, summer of 2019, and then we kind of went into this project, which does feel. It doesn't feel like official Drake, but then it's, I'm kind of glad that it is official Drake just because so many of these projects are not like, they're just are really kind of roomy. And that's the thing about it. They have like a lot of just extracurricular and off to the side Drake that you probably wouldn't expect for him to say on like a normal album. He's doing freestyles on here. Uh, TikTok songs and SoundCloud songs and there's collaborations which is good but there's all that extra stuff that kind of goes along it, it feels musically like we're flexing like the repertoire more this time you know Scorpion had the singles and continued to pump out like this hit after hit and kind of just was tearing up like rhythmic charts and pop radio charts and that sort of thing but this really feels more like just the curriculum of uh low-key kind of stuff and i appreciated that just because as large as drake's gotten over the past several years uh, it's it's good to see that he hasn't sold out and can make music on kind of a low-key front and show up with different styles and continue to be creative that's the thing. But to talk about some of the singles now, I would say there were there were two singles on this project. I mean, considering that it's a mixtape, most mixtapes nowadays do not have more than one single. And if they do, they usually become retail mixtapes, meaning you have to purchase them. But Tuesday Slide is such an uncanny Drake song. That's kind of the thing about it. I mean, it spawned like a dance, and that's what the Tuesday slide is. This is essentially a dance. You've probably seen it since I'm reviewing this late, but it's off to the side. It's simple enough to do, uh, and just the way that the song goes, I kind of I kind of see a lot of this music on here as just Spotify music, and that's where I would kind of listen to it, just letting... It's a music blast, perfect for a playlist, perfect just to mellow out, smoke one, do something, dance, you know, have some low-key kind of champagne parties like he talks about. And that's kind of the intention. I mean, that's really the thing about it is just to sip champagne and kick back. But then Chicago Freestyle feels a lot more warped. That one, I felt like the production on that song was a lot more... Uh, that one feels more woozy and more induced, which I kind of like this because it, it's strange to kind of get that from Drake because most of the time he is not like calibrated towards wanting to get fucked up like that. So it's kind of strange hearing some of these songs, but uh, you know, and that's just paying attention to the production. I mean, to talk about the production, it's never like explosive like the sort of stuff that this grabs you immediately it's not necessarily trap it's not necessarily hardcore rap east coast west coast it just has a real kind of mellow and spotify i mean i feel like the best one of the best words to describe how some of these songs should really sound is it's real spotify type made for playlists and 
meant to just listlessly let these songs go on. You, you don't even pay attention. If you're just sipping something, being a flirt, doing what you do, and the next song kind of plays on, it's not like, okay, I need to find the next song. It just is something, hey, it's Drake, you play it, and you lose track of time. But kind of talk about that it, yeah it's a freestyle and it's a it's a freestyle and he gets like a a more unheard r&b singer to kind of help out with that so i like the approach as to how that was going but that's kind of the thing i mean the way that this project kind of went it was it was just so spastic i mean i look at it and i was kind of thinking drake had some extra time and that's kind of the thing you you kind of like when musicians have extra time because that's kind of the shit that they were doing it's like yeah this is something I like to see, I like the idea of Drake having extra time and just having the time. When people say, oh, he had time today, that's kind of the thing with Drake. It's like, oh, so this is what he's up to when he's kind of on his album vacation or something. That's kind of the thing that's good. I mean, a lot of these are Lucy's and uh, SoundCloud songs and freestyles and a bunch of stuff that does not really have a lot of official presence there's not i would say besides Tuesday slide there's not really anything on the project that could probably land on like a studio album from drake but that's kind of the point is you get some of these songs extra stuff and it's supposed to be kind of a bonus project but it's not i don't want this to be seemed as if it's sloppy because it isn't this is actually a more stellar drake project it's been a while since I've reviewed some of his stuff, but I kind of caught the consensus that people did not enjoy views as much as they could with One Dance and Hotline Bling on there. It was mostly just the singles on that one, and then Scorpion, I guess folks thought, was kind of overbearing and had maybe a little bit too much. I'm eventually going to review those, but... I did buy views, and I kind of almost feel the same way, just because most of the time the songs I listen to would be Controla, Hotline Bling, and then One Dance on the occasion. So that's kind of the thing there. But, um, so yeah, but there are songs, like I was saying, out of 14, more than half the album I can find myself listening to, and it's, it's a fun project. There's the songs may not sound exactly similar but they have the same sort of feel to kind of carry over and set the vibe i mean this kind of is like drake how he sets the mood but it's also not necessarily it's not where he's like a pansy but it's also not entirely like ferocious like maybe you would think from sometimes because usually that's what drake does is it's kind of half and half he'll do trap and then he'll do kind of R&B tinged rap. And it's kind of like that, but it meshes together a lot better this time. That's the thing. He has Future to help him out. He has Playboy Cardi to help him out. He has, I don't know his name. It's Fibio Foreign or Fivio Foreign. I don't know him that well, but things like that. So it kind of works having those angles correctly. So the, the rap Drake does not get overshadowed by the R&B Drake. But then the R&B Drake is not only for girls only for women type thing either so but all right so to review this i'm gonna sh I, I i wound up enjoying eight out of 14 and i'm gonna recommend those so i'll go ahead and list them for you so songs i recommend to you out of 14 would be war time flies Tuesday slide not you two demons desires chicago freestyle and landed now, some of the R&B Drake that I felt like really works for like a more for a more dating approach would kind of be songs like Tuesday Slide. I mean, that song works in almost all fronts apart from maybe like the roughest of times. Like I wouldn't listen to it during a football game or something, but Tuesday Slide works for most scenarios. And then Time Flies is another good r&b drake song and then not you too with chris brown and i kind of would have to throw chicago freestyle in there also just because it's so uh somber and that's kind of the thing with that so there there are some good ones i would say i almost a song i almost kind of feel like i haven't done an almost song in a while but pain 1993 that one was really close that felt like uh softer drake but kind of with trap in there 
but I did not like Playboy Cardi's verse because it felt sped up and the vo the vocals on whoever's verse that was got kind of annoying. I mean, Drake I didn't have that problem with, but I didn't like the sped up, kind of screechy way of sound that that kind of had on there. Demons was a good song. That has the Fivio Foreign and then Sosa Geek. Um, yeah, that, that felt, that was kind of one of the more out outcasted songs just because there weren't many songs that sounded like that i felt like demons and war were kind of similar but demons felt real demonized i mean that's the thing it did feel like a dark song it's kind of different for drake it almost felt underground but kind of wasn't it was probably like commercial underground in a way so I did like that, and then War had one of the best beats on here, just in a rap sense. I mean, a lot of these that I kind of noticed they're, when I was talking about how they're Spotify-type sounds, but they really kind of are, the production is less focused on, the production is less focused on something that just immediately hits you and is more kind of concerned with the mood, concerned with the somberness, concerned with the feeling, and vibing with it more but war was not like that and i was kind of glad i mean that's the thing there were a few songs that kind of did the other way d Pharrell with future and young thug was another one didn't really enjoy that one though um felt like the production could have been better i mean the thing about trap beats is they try to be something for the speakers and kind of overbearing but then also having a real overcast kind of sound but when the production doesn't work, it kind of makes a lot of those trap sounds very skippable. So I was glad that that didn't happen. Or it did, well, it did happen, but uh, I was kind of, I was disappointed that the the production on that was not, I mean, it was probably like B minus, something like that, I'd have to say. But, you know, compared to the songs that hit on this album, it kind of leaves d l in the dust. So that's kind of the thing there, but... Yeah, to talk about a few others, I mean, I was really surprised at Toozy Slide, how, like, effective that song was, especially considering that it's not Drake in, like, his normal kind of mood. I mean, it kind of is, but it's it, it, it's a new shade for Drake. I feel like it, it's kind of, I mean, it's the same topic, you know, same stuff, same him being somber and kind of moody, but... In, in like a new light it seems like he kind of got like it from a different angle we could say and then the chris brown song i really enjoyed and landed and some of those type songs so war was also a very good one even though that was a freestyle i still liked the way that he was going with that that was a real surprise also so the thing about this project to talk about it is there's a lot of surprises and that's kind of the thing i mean in some cases, you almost want something that's not a surprise, but I'm not going to complain about it being a surprise because I enjoyed that thoroughly, and that's the thing. I think I like this more than Views. I think I like this more than More Life. I think I like this more than, I don't want to say more than Scorpion, but some of the more recent Drake projects, maybe even What a Time to Be Alive with Future. So it's one of the better ones that he's done, and the thing about it, is it focuses on a mood it's not bombastic in like a trap sense where it's like a classic rap album as more as it's like a classic r b album and i think that's kind of what it went to more is it's more classic r b which we need because there's not too many classic r b albums anymore just within like a spotify sense so it knows that a lot of this is destined for a playlist so I'm going to give this album a 7.5 out of 10 because I liked 8 out of 14, more than half. But because some of these were good and I would listen to these, a, a good handful of these more than just the singles. I like both the singles, but then there was more stuff on here to enjoy. And maybe if I could listen to it more, Pain 1993 would wind up being better. So I would say 7.5 to an 8, but I'm going to give it a 7.5. And... A the the uh social score which is how well it plays around your friends if you're introducing it i'd say basically like a seven just because the two singles i mean Tuesday slide hit number one i don't know how well chicago freestyle did i could look it up but uh both of those did well he had more promotion war was kind of a promotional single so it had a bunch of promotion on here uh 
yeah, so, I mean, but that's not the point. The social score is not really the point. I mean, it's Drake. He's a household name, but uh, it's kind of the thing as to how that goes. So I would have to say, I mean, I'll, I'm trying to think if I want to up the social score because it did have some good – we'll give it a 9. We'll say the social score is a 9 just because it did have a lot of promotion and it's good. I mean, that's the thing. It's not like the singles are bad. So we'll give the social score a nine. And uh, just to kind of say everything else, I mean, it works. It's a surprise hit. If you're looking for Drake, that's not necessarily uh, like his typical attitudes that he has, but then also is something refreshing, something original and, kind of somber but then in a fun sort of way something for the females something kind of for your dogs but not quite as highlighted but does have some surprises on there then that's the sort of shit to go with so there you go